Seoul, South Korea. There is so much more to Seoul than K-pop, kimchi, Samsung, and Son Heung-min. Actually, maybe not. Son is everywhere. But in this video, I'm going to navigate this super exciting city. This is really cool. Try some of the local food and see some of the famous sites. Look at it, it's frozen. It's... What happens to the fish? And find out what puts the soul in Seoul. So welcome to South Korea. Now we need our first stop is, see I can't even speak. That's how much I need coffee. We need coffee. And there's one right across from where we're staying, which is the mega coffee. And then we're also gonna get something for breakfast as well. So oh, I'm so excited to start the day. It is so cold. It is so cold. I think it's like minus five. It's freezing. Look, when I breathe, the thing comes out of my mouth. I've never been somewhere that cold before. Hello. Um, can I please exchange this for Korean one? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Green, cool. Thank you. You want a hot coffee as well? Yeah. Wow. Hot, hot Michael, coffee season. Michael, let me get hot coffee. It's because it's so cold. Wait, wait, which one do you want? Hazelnut latte. Hazelnut latte. Hi. Can I please have a hot hazelnut latte and a hot cappuccino, please? Thank you. <sighs> it's cold. <laughs> so this guy is absolutely everywhere. I think he plays for the soccer team, English football. Yeah, he plays for Tottenham. Tottenham, okay. But he's from Korea and he, he's everywhere. Like when I say everywhere, yeah. I'm saying, I'm talking to everywhere. It's Shun Win Son, he's famous. Do you like him? Like... <laughs> you can see him down there, out of the street as he's well. He's down there as well. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, cappuccino. Cappuccino. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And when they say mega coffee, they are, they are not joking. It is she's as big a, as much. She's got a massive head. <laughs> I do have a big head. It is not filled with brains. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. This is a really cool street to be in. I know we're sort of in the middle of tourist town. I'm um, in, where are you? Myeongdong? Myeongdong. Myeongdong. This is really cool. Like honestly, there's stores on everywhere. Lots of music. <laughs> so our first stop of the day is Isaac Toast. I've heard it's really good. Hi, good morning. Can we get the cheese bacon potato? Um, two please. Two, two, yeah, two. <laughs> now, Isaac Toast was actually made in Korea. So while it's probably not traditional, it was still made here. So counts oh, for me. It's not often you see me in, uh, what's this? A jumpers. Ju I don't even know the name of it. That's how much I don't wear it. Just to give you an idea of what we're working with here. Minus one. And that's the warmest it's been since we've got here. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Have the Isaac Toast. Now I've got, cheese, bacon, and potato, which is like a hash brown. I think it's gonna be delicious. If you have Isaac toast, what do you get? I'd like to know. One for you. Thank you. One for me. Now there's nowhere to sit, so I'm just gonna have to kind of eat it here. So you open it, and it's literally just a piece of toast. Well, two pieces of toast with your filling inside. Now this one, like I said, has cheese, bacon, and a hash brown. You can see falling out the end there. Man, look how good it looks. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try. I tell you this much, it tastes even better than it looks. Honestly, it doesn't look amazing, but it tastes, it tastes amazing. It tastes incredible. Yum. Come on, well. Thank you. That was honestly absolutely delicious. And this area is just so cool. I really like it. It's lively. There's everything you need. There's grocery stores, chocolate, skincare, hats, beanies, coats. You're gonna wanna bring some warm clothes if you're coming around this time. I didn't, this is Michael's jumper jacket. We've been traveling for two years and haven't had any cold weather. So I'm not going to buy a $400 jacket for staying here for three, four or five days. So, okay. So far, this place is an absolute vibe. I love it. The stores, the streets, everything. I think it is so fun and I really like it so far. I am sort of at this point regretting only being here for a very short amount of time, but we'll continue the rest of the day. Oh, they go red if you can't walk. So we're in the Namde Mun market, which is actually, Michael just told me, over 600 years old, and they have over 10,000 stores, and it's the biggest in Seoul, and it has been for like 600 years, yeah. or something like that. So there's a lot of stores here. I can't believe how big it is. I cannot say a thing, hold on. So I did just look this up. We are looking for Tomboki. So I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I'm, I did just look that up. <laughs> Pronunciations are not my forte. Look at these pigeons, man. They're just everywhere. Now, tamboki is like a spicy Korean dish that we want to try. However, I am not good with spice. I've heard Korean spice is a different kind of spice. I think it's a little bit more maybe sweet or less like burny. I hope so anyway. So we're looking through this market to find tamboki. So we're just headed down into more market. Like I, I, we walked in and then you can still go this way to find more market or this way to find more market. It kind of doesn't stop. I kind of just thought it was what we saw upstairs, but it's not. It doesn't stop. Look at this. This guy's just got a full on liquor store. 
What the hell? They had everything in there. They had like clothes, clips, earrings, um, food, <laughs> coffee, everything. You can find what you need in there. And it didn't look any, like it didn't look unlike any market that we've seen in like Cambodia or Vietnam or anything like that. It was um, full yeah. of stuff, like full. <laughs> so I'm walking around this market and I can't stand the cold any longer. I need a beanie or something to keep my head warm because it's going to freeze. I can't feel my nose at this point, I'm being honest. So let's try and find myself a beanie and there's no shortage of places to buy it here. So let's see what there is. Do you have um like a, what do you call it? Snoot? Snoot? Not hood, yeah, just here. Snoot. <laughs> kind of like this, like looks like this. Oh, these, these fluffy ones. Oh, the fluffy ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here to tie just a short and roll. Short yeah. and long. Okay, but they look like that. I don't mind that. Yeah. Do you have that with, uh, in black? Black? In black. Kim Messica. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. Fuzzy? <laughs> yeah, that'll do the job for me. Okay. How much is this one? 6,000. 6,000. So six and then 18, 18 is 24. Okay. Yes, that's the problem. We'll get both of this. The two, yeah. Right now? Yes. Yeah, so do you want? Perfect. Yes, okay. please. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. What a lovely fella. He's so nice. Yeah. This is so cool. So you've got heaps uh, of different kinds of stuff. So I'm What's gonna wrong? cut this, you okay? That's fine, yeah. yeah. That's okay. 23? There you go, get some change. Get some change. That? That's 30. So give me a second. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. Put your snood on. I wanna see you in it. You like your snood? Oh yeah. Just like that. And then if it gets really cold, I can go like this. <laughs> I actually think I need one. I can't feel my nose. If you could do that, like forever you'd be happy and then you're so introverted yes yeah, so, no, this is this is me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they can't see me if i can't see them right and then if you want to wear like a beanie okay it doesn't look as good like that so i used to wear these i used to wear these at soccer training back in the day your hair looks really funny like that i never wear my hair out in my videos i'm pretty sure no one in this in all my channel has seen me with my hair out i always put it out because it's hot i actually like this on you <laughs> You look cute. You like it? Yeah. Okay. I actually purposely didn't wear makeup today in case I was trying on a whole bunch of beanies. I didn't yeah, want to get makeup on it. You like it? Yeah, I do. I think that. I want gloves next. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's cute. Size, I cool. like it. All right, I'm glad we got that because now I can keep my ears warm. I wish I had a snood to keep my nose warm though. I'm freezing. So that was 23,000 won. He gave us a discount. So how much is that? All right, so we have 23,000 won. 26 Australian dollars. Unlimited warmth? Priceless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I for one am so glad I have a beanie. Um, I am debating gloves and earmuffs at this point. <laughs> I am still so cold and I can't feel my fingers anymore. Good news though. What? The temperature's gone up since we last checked in with you. It's now zero degrees. Oh, <laughs> yay. So we found this gate and apparently it used to be a gate around the entire city and people in Korea call it the South Gate because it was the South entrance, but it's been taken down and repaired a few times. It's been restorated or renovated. We didn't change the guard. Oh, oh. I think we just walked while they were changing the guard. A whole bunch, like three, four of them just left walking down in a, in a line down the road and then another three or four just came in here. Oh, and now they're standing on that side. Yeah, where are they off to? They're standing here like this then. And we just came in a time when they were changing. Crazy. So we didn't find any taboki over there. We found one, but it wasn't quite what we wanted. We want more of like a street food vibe. Telling us to go to Guangzhou Market. So we're gonna head there. Um, but we just saw this in the meantime and I thought it was super cool. So let's head to Guangzhou and see if we can find any taboki. So cold. Let's go. So since being here in South Korea, we've noticed a few funny things about transportation. Well, basically none of the map apps work for everything you need to do. So if you wanna like, catch public transport you have to use google maps if you want to walk you have to use apple maps and if you want to drive you can only use ways but nothing does all three so you need yeah three apps to get around basically which is annoying it's a bit hard for a tourist So we walk up to this and I notice the screen's a touch screen. So we go, Hong Chung Market, it tells, oh, us, it tells us where it is. And then we, yeah, walk out number four and off we go. That is so cool, I've never seen that before. That's pretty awesome. Go Korea. Please redeem your deposit. Please redeem your deposit. Redeem the deposit. Yeah. <gasps> it gave us money back. So you get a deposit back for giving your card for back. giving your card back. <gasps> yes, I want my money back. Wow, it looks like the um, 500 from Japan. It's silver. But silver, the other one was gold. Cool. I think yeah. that's like 20 cents or something. To 
just a quick note while we're walking around if you want to see more of South Korea I've got a second channel I'm gonna link it down below head over there I've got a few more videos from here in South Korea that you might want to check out it's a bit more relaxed a bit more chill a bit more you and me you know what I'm saying small little community I love it go check it out it's in the description box so we've arrived but we're just trying to find where the food is we found a lot of the textiles um, and fabrics it's just not the food so I have to have a quick look around this says food zone all right we're coming up to the food part and honestly this is more what we're looking for so let's see if there's anything that we can try and definitely that that I can't remember the name Taboki. <laughs> I want to try really bad yeah this is cool this is much better everyone's sitting for some like street food this is awesome Yeah, if you, want to sit, if you want to sit here and have it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, grab a seat. All right, sit down then. We'll get, a, we'll get one pancake. You want pancake one? Yeah, one pancake for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Only been there, huh? Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. Take away. Thank you. Oh wow, <laughs> thank you. All right, so we've got the taboki, but we also, is that potato? Uh, yeah. The taboki? Let's try it, it's right, yeah. Okay, and then we have this pancake. Mung bean pancake. M mung bean? Yeah. What's that? Uh, mung bean, it's a bean. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what's in it. Mmm, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, really mm. nice. Mm. Yeah. It's like um, oniony. Yeah. It's warm, which is the most important thing because it's <laughs> yeah. freezing. That's really nice. It just feels like a fried something, but the taste is like onion. I like onion. I don't really know what else, but it's delicious. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get pieces to have. Show us it. Show us the easy section of it. They have bean sprouts. Yeah. Right, which way you guys want bean sprouts. I don't actually know what's in it, but it's good. Long bean. And <laughs> Mung bean, but it's a vegetable, right? Yeah, I'm assuming it's a bean. So it's like a vegetable <laughs> pancake? I don't know. This is what we've we'll been after. I still don't know what it is. Eat it and see. A little bit spicy, so you might want to have some mung bean ready to go. Okay. Oh, it's spicy. Is it? Yeah, I don't like it. It doesn't taste like anything, it's just chewy. Mm. The spice isn't as bad, it's on my tongue, it's yeah. not in my throat. It's different, right? It's it is different. a different kind of spice, but I still don't, I still don't enjoy it. Yeah. But I like this, this pancake is sick. You can get Yum. something like that, I'll, I'll finish off yeah, the Yeah, you have that. So I didn't get to have this last time I was in Korea. Oh, really? Yeah. Mmm. That's something I like. Yeah. It's that like, it's not bad spice, it's a feeling of spice. It's just on the tip of my tongue, but I still don't, I don't like that. Mm. Mm -mm. Do you have uh, water? Drink. Uh, water. Over there. water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I can breathe. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Got it. Ah, there we go. That's better. That was too spicy for me. <laughs> this pancake. It's like really good. I'm gonna finish this one off and Michael's gonna have the tabaki because it's too spicy for me. But nice tasting otherwise. I just mm. prefer the pancake. I'm so full. Like I've eaten more food than I probably should have so far already. <laughs> but this is delicious. Let's see if I can take it away. I'm not sure, but really good. Mung bean pancake. That's what I got. The tabaki, a bit too spicy for me. So I just ran into Eddie. So Eddie, if you're watching, thanks for saying hello. <laughs> the thing I love about this is that there's the um, pot just in front of us and you're sitting outside. It's like street food. It's like Korean's version of street food. It's really cool. But they do have a like inside restaurant part over there that you can do if you want, but I'm good to go. I'm full. I can't eat the whole thing. I feel so bad. I know that's kind of rude in some cultures, so I'm trying to eat it, but I just can't force myself. Thank you so much. Delicious. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Wow, this is cool. There's so many places to sit and eat here. This is like this is like a gem. Like this is awesome. I feel like this is almost a this is a must do if you come here. You've got so many things here and everyone's just you can sit, eat on the side. This is the vibe that I like. I love this kind of stuff. Absolutely love it. I didn't expect this here in South Korea though, so I'm proven surprised yet again. Oh, that's a pig's foot. I don't want to look at that. <laughs> um yeah, I'm just trying to find orange. This is just orange by itself. Five thousand, don't share one? Um, yeah. Is orange juice? Yeah, yeah. The 5, orange 000. juice? This one, thank you. Ice, yes. So more or less? More, more, more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's less orange then. That's good. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> that's less juice then. I like more cold. Oh, I probably don't. It's cold. Oh, well. It is what it is. I don't know. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's like actual. Where are you from? from? Australia. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> how long have you had your store here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long have you been oh. here? Like ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Oh, you. Okay. Oh. A long time. Long time. Oh, okay. Okay. Australia. Thank you. Oh. Wait, there isn't any. Oh. Wait, what? I don't know what you mean. Oh, this. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm out of my element. All right. All right, we'll chase this. Fresh orange juice is usually like a little bit sour. Isn't Which it? is the what I like about it. citrusy. Yeah. Look at that, Darcy. I can bring you some dry fish cake, maybe. Oh, that's so nice. That's an orange. That's a nice orange. That's so. Hold on. I love that. That's actually really good. Mmm. It's good, isn't it? Oh yeah, tastes like summer. So my subscriber Eddie just told me that there is this famous Netflix lady here, but we aren't like a food channel. Like, I I don't know who that is. Like, he had to tell me. So as much as you guys think like all we do is eat, when you travel somewhere, what do you want to do? Eat. We have to eat every day. <laughs> so we eat and we eat local food because we're in the place that we are. But we're not a food channel. I'm not a food channel. I don't claim to know anything about food. Um, so it's really interesting that you guys think I'm such a big foodie or I'm a big food channel, but I'm just not. I just travel and eat the food yeah. in the place that I'm traveling to. Um, so I don't know who that is, but if you're coming, she's back there and Eddie told me about her, my subscriber. So the money that we took out from, well, the money that we swatched from our leftover Japanese yen, um, we've just run out. We've spent it on beanies and stuff. So we just had to pick out a few more bits of cash for where we're going. Here it is, South Korean won. Green. After seeing what was one of the coolest markets I've been to in almost two years of full-time travel, it was time to get some history and culture in. And after a short metro ride, we found ourselves at Gyeongbokgung or Gyeongbok Palace, a structure built in the 1300s. I think I've said this, but if you're dressed in the traditional attire, you can get into this palace for free. There's also a um, audio guide. So if you wanna pay for that and get told some more information in your ears and walk around at your own pace, you can hire that there as well. Right now there's lots of people out here and I feel like there's about to be like a ceremony or like a changing of the guard or something like that. And there's so many people just standing around waiting for something and it's almost a new hour. So I'm assuming something gonna happen <laughs> I'm not sure so it also another little tip is that the palace closes at five but the last time you can buy tickets is four just so you know that might have tripped me up if I didn't read that online no it wasn't online if I didn't read that here <laughs> oh, I'm a mess <laughs> watched the changing of the guard ceremony out the front um, and now we are heading into the actual palace itself how much was it six thousand so that's what like six dollars for us Less or something like, less than six dollars palaces were built for people to live in so they lived oh. here and then all their servants worked here it's not like it's not like where did they live like where did they sleep where, where lots of different people live the leaders at the time lived here and their family where's their bedroom probably around here so i'm gonna have to go find it but that's the main hall where he would like sit in so yes the palace is nice but this is the first time i've seen frozen water <laughs> Well, no, you have to ask you. So you mean frozen? I mean, like, like a like a, a body, body of, of water. water is frozen. Like, look at it. Like, see this? It's frozen. Like, there's a couple of little like melted bits on the top. I've never seen frozen water. Mm. I know that all the people like Canada, America. I don't know where else it's cold, but all the cold places are going to be like, yeah. But this doesn't happen in Australia. Your water doesn't freeze. Like this I've is. I've never seen that before. I've never seen this before. Look at it. It's frozen. It's, it's Wait, water, what happens it? to fish in the water? I think it's still watery under the water. No, but what happens to fish when the water freezes? Do the fish freeze and die? Do they come back to life? Yeah, who knows that? Do they? Do they? Do they come back to life? Someone tell me. What happens to the fish? No, what's the thing where you it's freeze the body? And the... I think it's cryo or something. Does that happen to fish? I'm so confused. Now, I believe a lot of this isn't original. I think it went through a period of like renovation or something. Do your own research because I'm not sure. Don't take my word for it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's all original. I think it's been restored or made new. So I'm not sure what's old and what's new, but some of it I think 
has been replaced. So this building here in the middle was his office where he came and had his meetings. The two buildings on the side were for resting throughout the day and you can actually see this is just a regular wooden floor. This one has holes in the side of it because in the resting places basically what he would do would they would heat them I'm assuming by burning coals or by fire they would heat them from under so that the wood was warm on his feet when he was in there. So working, no warmth. I guess his staff didn't get to have that. Then when he went and rested, he had like warm floors 600 years ago. Now when you travel, everyone has different preferences. I personally could have skipped this. I don't find this as interesting. Um, well, it is interesting. It's hard to say. I just don't think that I needed to see this. I feel like I've seen so many cool things in Seoul. Um, but obviously, if you like it, if you like this stuff, it's a must do. You should definitely come and see this in Seoul if you're planning a trip to South Korea. Now, the thing that I wanted to do is about a kilometer's walk that way. And it's this really pretty street or cluster of old buildings. So let's go see that. That bit I'm really excited about. So, so far, South Korea has been beautiful like I really like it here over here you've got like an old style like watches tower or something in the middle of the street and they're just kind of built around it but left the original building there which is awesome and then back there you just have these massive mountains poking through when you're walking it's through beautiful. the city it's it's really stunning like I'm I've, I think it's a really beautiful place all right so we're walking this way to this um, beautiful village. There is actually like dress hires here, traditional dress hires. A lot of people do that because I think you get entry into the village or wherever it is for free if you're dressed up. I'm not <laughs> gonna do that. I'm too cold to get my jumper off. My face is red, I'm so cold. And there's some really cool looking hipster, like sick aesthetic coffee shops around here as well. But it's really super, super pretty. Yeah. There are so many people here and like you have to kind of find a back street like this and kind of wait. Like someone else just took photos. They're taking photos and checking them. <laughs> then I guess it's our turn. But we only just sort of came in and this is what the buildings used to look like, right? So most places. Most places. places. And people still live here. People still live here. There's signs saying to be quiet and to whisper. So obviously yeah. like if you can't just be respectful of the people who actually live here. So a lot of these shops have turned into like, well, sorry, houses or whatever have turned into shops. So they're selling like souvenirs. They're selling like, there's like a photo booth one down at the entrance. It's cool, really cool, pretty area. Really cool. Okay, so we're here on like, I think the most famous street, but honestly, there's so many people here. Like it's like, not as bad as Kyoto <laughs> that we went to in Japan and places like that, but there are so many people. Everyone's telling you to shush as well, so I'm trying to be really quiet, but it's hard to sort of get around. So this part and this street was kind of the major place that I wanted to go to here in um, South Korea. I saw these like buildings and this architecture and these old houses and the way they were built and everything in a whole bunch of Instagram photos. And I was like, I would have loved to visit there. So this one is stunning. It's definitely worth a visit. So it's around 5 p.m. now, which is like when everything is obviously closing and they are trying to usher people out. So make sure that if you do come, just listen to the rules, be respectful of the people who work, oh sorry, live here. Um, because no one's out. leaving. <laughs> no, no one else is leaving besides us. Wow, this is stunning. Look at this. And the sunset going down. And the sunset. Like, it, it's really hilly as well. And it's like really crazy to me how people figure out all the way back then how to build houses on hills and like all this stuff, like retaining walls. It's crazy. The Hanok village, while stunning, was pretty overrun by tour groups. So we left in search of the one thing that never disappoints street food. Okay, so we're back in Myeongdong and I just went to Olive Yarn. Now, if you know anything about K-beauty, I didn't. It is pretty much the Mecca or like the Sephora of uh, Korea. And I just went there on my second channel. So if you follow my second channel, it's very chill, very low key, very behind the scenes. Um, go watch that. I'll link it down below in the description. My second channel has just all of that stuff and I went on a haul on there. So go check that out if you want. Oh, it's so fun to be here. I love this area. This is my favorite so far, for sure. So this is a complete vibe at night time. I like was here this morning, if you remember, and this is, it's come to life. There's fairy lights at the top. However, there's a lot of music just coming from all places. And when you're on YouTube and you're dealing with copyright, it's hard to deal with. <laughs> Michael, 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 Michael. Sketches. Oh, I want to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Where do we line up? I don't know. That's cool. So they do a caricature or, or a, yeah, a caricature or photo of you. I reckon that's a sick souvenir from Korea because I haven't found one yet all day. That's cool. How much is it? 9,000 each. 9,000 each. Okay. Sorry. 
So, do you mean it's separate, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. This is your changer. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And this is your ticket to give it to your painter, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> separate, yeah. What do I do? Just, just look. This will be interesting to see what it looks like. I'm not a good drawer, so this is impressive. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at your beard! Yeah. Show me! That's cute! That's good, thank you so much! That's, oh, I that's love good! It. <laughs> thank you! That's so cool! Put my glasses! <laughs> thank you! Thank you so oh, much! That. Thank you! Look. That's awesome. It looks kind of, it looks like me. <laughs> Thank you. That is so cool. My beanie in my hair and then my, my glasses. It looks just like you. It kind of does, eh? Yeah. I like it. And I got it to write South Korea so I can use it to remember. Thank like, you. honestly, I think that's one of the best tourist things I've ever done. That's so cool. What a good idea. What a great present to take home. Do you have to see mine again? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. Look at your hair. <laughs> cute. I like it. Oh, that's cute. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's fun. Hello. Um, can I just have one, please? Oh, thank you. Two thousand, right? Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Get it now? Yeah, give it a go. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> it's fast. You didn't even wait for me to get ready to fill it. You bit it. They're really good. Ooh. They're really good. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. It's so warm though. Like, can you see all the heat coming off it? Because it's so cold here, I think this is just so hot. What was that like cheese on the inside or egg? It tastes sweet. The bread's sweet. Yeah, sweet bread with egg. I didn't expect the bread nice to be and sweet. Hot for, for Christmas market. Oh, it's a full boiled egg. Look. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was like <laughs> scrambled in there. It's a full boiled egg. Okay, <laughs> weird. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm still getting that. Yum. Hello. Hello. Can I get s'mores? Yeah, just one. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> what is it, ice cream? Yeah. Okay, I'm drooling. I love s'mores. I'm not even American. Oh. That's good on a cold night. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Woo. All right, I'm excited. This is either going to be a big disappointment or oh it's very busy here but so worth a visit in Muangdong. I can't I can never say the name of this place. <laughs> Alright, let's it might be hot, I don't know, it's called blowtorch. Oh. Oh, it's like a full layer of marshmallow underneath. And then cold. And then ice cream. And ice cream. That's what you felt like? No, I I felt like an actual small, but I know it's an ice cream, so. Mm. And you can get brownie instead of ice cream. Brownie as well. How much is eight thousand? Eight, I have no idea. I think that's a lot. If it's a lot, I don't think it's worth it. Eight thousand. You will never guess how much this is. Twelve dollars. Ten bucks. Ten dollars. Not worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is expensive. Yeah. Jeez. There is literally everything here. There's like fruit. There's freshly squeezed fruit. There's meals. There's little fried things. There's clothes. There's earmuffs. There's beanies. There's there's so much street food or clothes here to buy. It's a very touristy feeling, but it's still cool. Um, so I like it here, it was a good suggestion. All right, well that's it for my first time in Seoul in South Korea. If you like this one, make sure you do like the video and also subscribe. It really helps me out with my channel and it means a lot to me that you guys will support me and it's free for you. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.